Hello, Valley Maniacs, and welcome to the Valley Flan channel and your Marvel Strike Force weekly news update. This week, I'm joined by Boylan, and we discuss update 6.4.1 and the bugs. Did they really get fixed? We're also discussing the next jam event from Boundless and what it means for Marvel Strike Force. It's also time to get your last minute War Scourge runs in, so we're discussing what you need to get the max stars for Red Hulk. Now, disclaimer, this intro is a little different than normal because this has been a tough week for getting content out on this channel. All of my audio settings were deleted from my computer earlier this week. Still not sure why, but I've had to restart everything from scratch. And while Boylan's audio is solid in this video, mine is not up to the normal standards for this channel. And normally, I wouldn't even release a video like this on this channel, but these news recordings are long, so they're tough to re-record, and they're usually one-shot deals. So I do think that we still had a great discussion about many things that you'll still get value from. So I still wanted to release it for you, but... If the audio is a little too distracting and you want to wait for the next video, I do understand. So with all that said, guys, if you're here and ready for the news, then you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it. Valley Flyer. Hello, hello, hello. What is up, Valley Maniacs? I am Valley Flying. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel and this edition of your Marvel Strike Force weekly news update. We do this every week. And if you have not been here, have not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Strike Force content. At least five Marvel Strike Force videos per week on this channel. And usually there are a lot more. If you've already subscribed, welcome back. And if you're listening to the podcast version of this, Leave a, leave a great review on whatever platform you're listening to. This week, back in the studio is my brother, Boyla. And how are you doing, Boyla? It has been a while. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, just going through the motions of Marvel Strike Force like we all are. You know, we're at the end of September here with Abomination. I did my month-long orb opening that of all 31 right. orbs. I saved all the orbs. And, oh. well, maybe we'll talk about yeah. it later. Yes, we will. We will. I'm curious to see how good you did and uh, what that's going to mean for our next month-long character. Now, we there's some audio issues going on now. I don't think it's going to affect the video too much, but we are having trouble hearing each other. So, uh, if 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 I say something and Boylan doesn't hear right, Boylan says something that I don't hear, then uh, that is why. But we're trying our best here, guys. All right, but let's let's start with the topic. Six point four one released in Marvel Strike Force, and it was supposed to fix some of the bugs that were appearing when 6.4 was introduced. And I think the major one here is that find button. Uh, it was working for me. I'm getting reports there for some players that it's still not working. Is it working for you? And what are you hearing from the rest of the community about this uh, button working or not working? I think it's working, but I'll be honest, I don't actually use it. <laughs> like very often oh, okay. at all i i guess i know where i'm farming so i just go through do more I, I click the nodes and i like that's basically what i'm farming right now how do you remember all that stuff because you know, yeah. i know what the characters are the catalysts are and i didn't know that before but his button was but i know where the char characters are yeah but sometimes there's those 15 uniques and the switching uniques that i need i have no idea where they are how are you how did you just were you doing that I all have, the time i think i have good memorization um, I, I use it sometimes on my baby account because there's like blue gear or purple gear that i like target farm and okay. i don't know where those are but in do more i do know so that's mostly where i'm farming outside of the Cape bishop node okay okay so that's the, the bug didn't really affect you did any of these other bugs from 6.4 affect you and uh I think the, the energy, energy thing is a little, little bit annoying. And uh, clicking on the energy. The, you have to click the plus sign, I think, or you did. And that was yeah. kind of annoying. Now, is it, um, has it been working since since 6.41 for you? Yeah, I think so. I, I think it's fine now. Okay. Now, there, there's an issue that some people were experiencing. I don't know if you got this. Uh, people were getting their accounts locked out of 6.41. Uh, mainly, I'm hearing about this on the Google Play Store. I know that when I installed 6.41, it logged me out of my iOS device, and luckily I had it linked to Facebook, so you know I just had to log back in. Any, what are you hearing about this? Are you hearing a lot of uh, other people getting locked out of their accounts? Uh, I haven't heard that myself. I know that uh, because I have iOS as well on my main phone, that it wasn't an immediate update. Like I actually, I, I think it almost took it a day before my phone actually updated to the next to this 
6.41. So okay. I don't know versus Android where it kind of pushed it a bit quicker on blue stacks or whatever. Oh yeah. As soon as, as soon as this other announcement, I'm like, all right, hit, 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 the, hit the update button. I need to find my stuff. Yeah. Like the update <laughs> button wasn't there for me on my, on my iPhone. Maybe it came out later. I don't know. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, I, 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 someone tweeted it that I needed the fine button is working with the new <laughs> update. I'm like, oh, well, I gotta get it right now. Um, one more error I'm hearing about is for 6.1. I haven't experienced it personally, but some regions are having trouble purchasing items. And I guess the web store was down and wasn't working for a little bit. But uh, are you hearing about other regions not being able to make purchases on the Google Play Store? I haven't, but I also, uh, a lot of people I talk to don't tend to spend that much anyways. So I know Makes that sense. the store was down yesterday, or I okay. think it was yesterday. I, I don't remember now. I, it was yesterday or the day before, and uh, they were quick to resolve that one because, of course, you know, they can't go without oh, yeah. earning money, right? Yeah, they, they can't wait two weeks to finish, fix that one, like the fine one, and they, <laughs> they got to make sure that they make that money. <laughs> All right, so those are, those are the bugs that I'm hearing about. I haven't experienced them personally, but if there's any other bugs that you guys are experiencing, let me know down in the comments. We report to the devs and... Hopefully they can figure it out. Hopefully not. Uh, but or hopefully yes, not hopefully not. <laughs> All right, but do you know what Scopely and Boundless was doing a few weeks ago? Uh, I heard about this. Yes, <laughs> they, were, they were at this event called Next Jam. Now some of you may be wondering what Next Jam is, so let me read this. This is from this actually Scopely uh, dot com blog site. Our Scopely studio, Boundless Entertainment, goes jamming. The team's semi-annual game jam, better known as Next Jam, took flight last week, resulting in, as always, some awesome creativity and bounty. Now, this was uh, posted on September 27th. So if we move this down here and see the day, September 27th. So this was done last week because this was posted a few days ago. Uh, let me continue on with the article, then uh, let me get your thoughts. Recently, Boundless uh, Studio, Boundless Entertainment at Scopely Studio held their eighth game jam, better known as Next Jam, a three-day celebration that takes place twice a year, designed to empower and celebrate game creation, creativity, and this year's theme was Escape the Day-to-Day. -day. And the Boundless team worked on developing new skills, creating innovative things for live and in-development games, as well as a new game completely so maybe this is why there are so many bugs in marvel strike force they're developing a new game is that is that uh what what is what is your what is your reaction when you first heard about this game jam and why they were gone last week i i think it really just depends on who who is attending this is it like uh, you know the, the entire department like the entire dev team or like you know so how, who's left behind because clearly somebody has to be there working right like not everyone's here at this so i guess it depends on who is there uh, are these important people who should be working to fix some of the issues that have been ongoing and i think that's the biggest issue is that all of these problems that we've been having since patch 6.4 and it take how long it took and, and maybe still taking to get yeah. fixed well, they're, they're very proud of this, and uh, I know that it took them almost two weeks to get that fine button to get to push out 6.41. I don't know if this has anything to do with it, if just certain people that weren't working on fixing these bugs were allowed to attend. But my big question, Boylan, you know, these, these devs, they say they play Marvel Strike Force. I don't know how you can take three days off of Marvel Strike Force and still have a legitimate account. Do you think they were still able to play and do their blitz rotations and all stuff? Because uh, <laughs> they, the devs do say they play this game. Yeah, they, they play it probably hyper casually, which means that you're not completing your events, probably. So no raids, no wars, no... no they, they, they have auto completion. <laughs> they probably have like a dev mode. They, well, that's where raid sim came from initially. <laughs> Night, <laughs> you remember Night of Gaming? Like, they can get free shit. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes, I just... yes. Don't worry. 847 is where it's at. 847 is where it's at. What is that? I'm going to try to let me know. Let me further down in the article. No worries, brother. I did hear that one. All right. Uh, further down in the article, they discuss that. Now, what they do, they also explore uh, future ideas for existing games, not just, not just making new games and uh, ignoring the bugs that were present. They, they create some fan favorite features in Marvel Strike Force, like costumes mm. 
and real time combat arena started at next gem. So real time arena and team posing were a result of these next gems. What crazy new feature do you think we're gonna get introduced because of this past next gem? Uh, well, well, you know, maybe we'll get the coveted uh, RTA leagues or tournaments as a result of this. Oh next my gen. goodness! Oh my goodness! The that continuation. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I, I talk about real time arena. I actually enjoyed uh, the real time PvP when it was first introduced. Did you did you enjoy that game mode? Oh, there were no rewards, but I thought it was a you know, cool way to. I actually to play I, that. I, I kind of like the matchmaking part. I don't know if you remember where you actually got to ban the ban thing and things like that. I thought it was interesting. Uh, it the did draft. take a while, but I, yeah, the draft and I, and I thought that was kind of fun. I thought there was something there. Uh, but the way well. that RTA is now, I don't like how it is. <laughs> and I, I understand that the, the draft part did take a while, and then if people bailed out or whatever, that was kind of annoying. Yeah. But if there was some sort of ranked system where it would discourage people from leaving or something like that, and you actually got, you know, rewards for your time out of it, you know, there would be something there. Maybe not mandatory, but, you know, something that's a bonus if people want to do it would be nice. Yeah. I, 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 I enjoyed that mode. They, they said a third of the players loved that mode, a third of the players hated their mode, a third was indifferent. I was in the in the path that loved real time PvP, but then they took out all the stuff that I liked about it with RTN. Yeah. Uh, that I, I did not like that game mode. And it made us, they forced us to play that with the daily objectives and the battle pass <laughs> and all that. It was not a good game mode. So that is, that is what the previous next gems. Uh, got though and costumes the air or whatever and we're going to talk about costumes in just a little bit and their stat improvements because it, that looks like there's something that they're researching do you, do you have any predictions of what this might introduce uh more bugs more yeah, I, yeah, I have, uh, no, okay. more high quality time is, is this finally going to give us our world-class <clears throat> experience going on I was just about to say that, but you beat me to it. So <laughs> that's the ongoing meme, isn't it? Um, yeah, but, that's, that's, I mean, that's what out of everybody's mind. <laughs> I think it just really beats us down. I think when we when we see the the number of bugs that are coming out and yeah. how long it takes to get it fixed, you know, it's just it's 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 exhausting for us as content creators. But it's also just exhausting for the players to have to encounter these, you know, and, and some of them not getting fixed forever or, you know, taking way too long. And it's just disappointing for how much money they make that even an indie team could probably get these kind of things fixed on a faster time scale. Do you think a lot of these bugs in Marvel Strike Force are because it's too big of a team and there's too much red tape to jump through? Because I know there are some games a bug appears and boom like within minutes it is fixed within within an hour like major bugs in other games but you got boundless you got scopely you have to run through marvel which runs through disney and is, is there just too much red tape at scopely well, in, in your opinion and that is why it's taking them so long or, or, what, or what, what, what what is the reasoning I hope that they don't have to go through that many different departments to get a bugs fixed but you know like in an indie team like you know, let's say if there's a dozen people, like, it doesn't take that long to just, you know, all right, guys, let's, I don't know, like a WhatsApp group, right? Like, all right, there's yeah. some stuff that needs to be fixed here and, you know, get it done. That, you know, I don't know. It just it doesn't sound too complicated, but they're making it really challenging. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, hopefully they improve this. Hopefully they can come up with new ideas. Uh, one of the new ideas that they're testing is this right here. And this was from a survey that uh, someone sent me the screenshot of earlier today. How much do you agree or disagree with the following statements about Marvel Strike Force? And this one, costumes should improve character stats. Strongly agree, strongly disagree, either disagree or so where do you fall into this? Should costumes improve stats? I've never played a game where that's the case, but I heard that Marvel Future Fight does Future this. Future Fight does, yes. Future Fight does. Uh, Future Revolution does. I, I In chat, they were saying the original Marvel's Avengers Alliance did as well. Oh, okay. Uh, um, so um, there, there, there is a precedent for this in other Marvel Strike Force, or in other Marvel games, but early on, uh, they, they said they wouldn't do this, and that... Uh, that I think that was I a good think, thing. I think this is going to frustrate a lot of people if, if they do. I, I think it depends on what they're changing or what they're improving. How how much does that make a difference to the character overall? Like, are we getting like an extra level of abilities? Is it huge like percent stat boost across the board? What are we talking about? I, I think, but as long as the costume isn't 
available in a free to play manner, then yeah, that that will cause obviously that divide between spenders and and free to play even more. You know what might work? I'm just looking at this now. Uh, if they just add tags or change tags, maybe certain costume change tags, that mm -hmm. might be something that wouldn't be too game breaking. You'd still be allowed to use a lot of the characters, but maybe equipping or not equipping the costume would allow more freedom and things like the doom raids and certain certain teams, in addition to certain teams. So if they I would do okay that, that. I, I, I don't think I would be too fresh with that either. A lot of people talked about Storm, for example, how she should have the Wakandan tag because she was married to T'Challa yeah. and yeah. having like maybe a costume change that would give her the Wakandan tag or something or, or allow her passive to transfer over a little bit to Wakandans would be really interesting, I think, especially for characters or, or teams that, you know, maybe are kind of in the middle of the road right now that could use maybe an extra character or it just allows for more theory crafting, right? You know, which could be really interesting. That's the part I like, more theory crafting, more choice, more you know, agency to use your teams and not, not have to put them into these cookie cutter teams. So if, if they did just that, not really taking, not really making these stats overpowered, not making it so you have to have these characters, just give you more third crafting, I, I would be okay with that as well. Mm -hmm. All right, a new character, Spider-Man 2099. I got, I got zero red stars on this character when I did the orb opening video and then I, I think I found a good seed. I pulled the gold, uh, I opened a gold orb, I got the gold, so I go, oh, let me go open a red star orb, and I pulled a five out of red star orb. He has arrived wow. in the game. Did you open red stars for this character? I know you're purchasing certain characters. Uh, did you purchase him as well? Uh, no, I mean, I, I purchased Hulkbuster, and before that I hadn't really bought any character in a long time. I, I broke down for Hulkbuster because he was a raid character, okay. but I just don't see the daily value out of 2099, so I didn't bother. No, no it's three three days a week for Cosmic Crucible. Now, yeah, it's what are, what are you uh, what are you uh, seeing as far as his value? Does he really improve the team? Have you faced Spy's team with Spider Weaver and Spider Man 2099 on the same field? I've, I've faced some Weaver teams. I have not faced the team with Weaver and Spider Man 2099 though. I did uh, fight one Spider Weaver, and that's it. No, no, twenty ninety nine. But I think his passive is going to be really important because I believe it gives speed up to the team, or sorry, uh, turn bar maybe. Uh, so they they act quicker. I, I thought it was him. A speed up. Yeah, I don't have it. Speed up. Yeah, yeah, I think speed up. Get something. Spider Weaver is an ally. Gain speed up fifty percent resistance, and they gain more resistance. Yeah, so it did. Uh, it so they're going to go quicker. Will that still? Counter the Bionic Avengers. I'm hearing that Bionic Avengers mm -hmm. don't work with Spider-Man 2099, but any other team with just Spider Weaver and doesn't matter the rest of the spiders, Bionic Avengers just smash them. That's my, yeah. th that's yeah. been my experience so far as well. All three matches I used Bionic Avengers on Room Three, and I was fine for the most part. And uh, I guess I would hope that they do right because otherwise that would be a failed team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe not. It's, it's just a very easily well, skippable uh, team, and it makes it so I mean, skippable if you do that. But, I mean, uh, uh, Spider Weaver is really good standalone, and maybe it just depends on who she's with outside of the three members there, because she does transfer her stats or what her passive also works on uh, other characters. But, yeah, Bionic Avengers, people are going to have soon, if not already, you know, G15, G16, uh, because of the Death Scourge and for raids. So they're yeah. going to have them quite big. And so if they're able to, you know, even punch down, I guess, on some of these, then it's, it's I don't know, is, is it worth the investment? Because... I don't see the value in 2099 and Noir outside of Crucible mm. as standalone characters or whatever because they have mixed origins and mixed team. Some are bio, some are mystic, some are city, some are global. So it's just they're not in the same space, I guess, to be used together outside of Crucible. Yeah, so we'll see. I don't know. I, outside of Crucible, I'm really not seeing a lot of value for these characters. Maybe Weaver, but just 2099 and Noir, not not too much value. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not, I'm not seeing a lot of them. Now, other thing on this, uh, this character, initially, there was a, there was a, the artwork for the Red Stars for Spider-Man 2099. Some people were able to open those orbs and got nothing because he wasn't actually in there. It was just in the art. Two days later, he did have the offer. Did you open any Red Star orbs during the time when he was in the art before that got removed? Uh, I don't think so. I think I was busy that day or that evening, and uh, I wasn't around. Oh, <laughs> that came yeah. across. 
<laughs> my dog was barking. Sorry. Uh, no worries. No worries. I, I thought you were laughing. Oh. That you're busy. To, you're busy to play oh. Marvel Strike Force. So like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's coming across. I, I think the mail guy just showed up at the door. So you know. Uh, but no, I I, I didn't. Uh, I I wasn't on at that time. So I guess I didn't really notice it by the time it passed. So I didn't pull anything. All right. In, in your opinion, Boylan, is this a trap team? For well, it will players, be if it's like players. what we just talked about. So if Bionic Avengers can beat them when all three of them are together, then yeah, it is. What uh, we won't know, they, we what won't about, know that way yet. If, when you add them, what about if you when you add twenty ninety nine and Noir and maybe Mister Negative? They're just crazy good on Crucible defense. Is that still a trap team because they're just for Crucible? So I, I put some I put heavier value on Crucible than Alliance War. So I would I wouldn't say it's a trap i would say war teams are a trap personally mm. but uh crucible teams because you need less of them i guess whereas war you have a lot of war teams right you like you have like 10 plus teams so yeah, it, the individual team value is not as good and it's in an alliance system crucible i believe that there's a little bit more value because you're in control a little bit more and there's less teams that you need so the value individually is worth more and you do get better resources out of Crucible. So I'm not going to say trap, but it's not as good as, say, a raid team. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, more more than a, uh, more than like a Heroes for Hire or like something. A, like, like a middle tier uh, team. Middle tier team. Yeah. And, and you're going to need Weaver. So, you know, might as well build a rub yeah. if you're going to unlock or planning to unlock Apocalypse. Now, there is some data mines about Spider Man 2099 at his next event. Let me move this down here. And this is about the future shock of man recruit Spider Man 2099 throughout October. It looks like he's going to be the next month long milestone. We're going to need these spider slice jeans, all this other stuff. But the thing that really disappointed me, uh, it looks like they're spider slicer orbs. Now, I like I liked some of these previous month long events. I liked having a goal to shoot for. I liked you know, knowing that we're going to get a certain amount of shards if we complete these goals. I like knowing what I get. With this abomination event, I did not like that. I did not get very good pulls for that. What and you said you didn't get very good pulls on either. What what did, what did you get for abomination? And does that excite you about Spider Man twenty ninety nine released in the uh, same fashion? Yeah, so I can't tell you exactly what I got because that's for my orb opening video, which is going to okay. be coming out right, uh, me, pretty give soon. A, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. No. <laughs> I did unlock him, but I don't like the event, and, and mm -hmm. I I said this a lot, you know, throughout the month of September that the orbs suck. The RNG slot machine uh, reality of it versus what we had before is not good, and that's why I don't like. Is that before we were guaranteed 180 shards. And I've talked to some people already who are in the range of, I don't know, if, if you've opened all 31, I would say you're in the range of like 100 to 10. You probably did unlock, but you're short of four star. A lot of people were short of four star, actually. Is, should we be getting a four star after a whole month of grinding through some of these events that are pretty easy? Some are pretty trashy and I need a lot of grinding. Do you think the four star is sort of the minimum that Scopely should be giving us for these characters after that I, much grinding? I think we should be guaranteed, uh, a, a, you know, like maybe 120 shards, and then th there should be the, the minimum drop, I think, in the orb should be raised because I think that we can all agree mm -hmm. that two and three shards is garbage. You know, yeah. just to see that in an orb, it might be a low chance, but some people are still getting that, and it just really deflates you. And I, and yeah. I, I don't like that. Uh, so bare minimum should be like four or five. Uh, the estimated value of the orb is somewhere like five point four or five point seven. I forget. Uh, mm -hmm. But I was uh, on my baby account. I was below average, and that just didn't feel good. I barely unlocked them on my uh. baby account, and the, and after a month long worth of working, it feels garbage because bronze event, for example, while it was 100 shards that was easy to get, you could get 150 as well, but the 100 shards was very easy to obtain for six days of work, yeah. and some people are just getting 100 shards for Abomination for 30 days of work, and it just does not seem to match, no. you know? No, no that, that just goes to show that... Uh... They don't really play the game, or at least, or at least the money people that are determining the values of these events aren't really playing the game and uh, getting these characters uh, where we want. One one thing that I did want to complain about these orbs are I pulled a blue and I got like twenty shards, and then I got a purple.
purple and I got four shards. What the hell is with these colors? Do you think that is yeah. uh, that is supposed to be like that, or is that some miscommunication with the colors, or some error with the colors, or do you think that's, they, that's... they changed the gold? Did you ever get a gold two drop? Two never shards for gold? Never, oh, maybe I have. I know I, I didn't get a gold drop. I got two drops before. So. They changed the color, though, because a lot of people were complaining that because a gold needs a jackpot, right? But why should you get a jackpot for a crap drop for two? Like, that just is, is disgusting because you see the gold and you're like, oh my god, it's a good drop. It could be a hundred, right? But no, you got two. I was excited with the purple. I was like, wait, that's worse than the 20 that I got with the blue. I know. So, yeah, at least they need you know, to do something about that. They do. They do. And they need to increase the value, that, uh, the, the chances that you're going to get a good pull and, and take out the twos entirely. Yeah. Take that. Just they take just, that out yeah. and put the values on some of the, put some of the percentages on some of the higher ones because that is. I, I do not like it just this. feels bad and 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 i i just preferred the and, and it's random right because what you and i get yeah. are going to get are going to be completely different even if we complete the event yeah. and so i guess i preferred the consistency of the guaranteed shards from the old style whether it was 100 shards or 180 or whatever um and the milestone progress that you need to unlock the character is much higher on these new milestones than the old style so yeah. before, you know, we would get 100 shards at 28.5k out of 50k. Now it's closer to like, I would say 400,000 out of 500,000 to unlock, depending <laughs> on your luck. And it's just not good. Yeah, so uh, I, I do like monthly events, but this abomination was very, very bad. And I think a lot of that has been because of the orb. So hopefully uh, after the Spider-Man 2099, they go back and, or actually this is the data mine. Hopefully they do something before this, but uh, the chances are very, very low. But at least <laughs> next character, uh, come on, come on, give us some guaranteed charges. Let us let maybe, our progress maybe, actually count. Maybe the orb will get changed, but I, I think that it'll probably take two months of data for them before they actually, maybe in November it might look different, but I think October yeah. is probably going to look the same. Lots of lots of uh, hoops to jump through before you get anything. A lot of red tape there, so uh, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they can move quickly and get it done in a month. All right. <laughs> We got a new season of Cosmic Crucible, actually the first season, and it actually worked this time. We got some new bonuses. What are your overall thoughts of this new season of Cosmic Crucible, Boylan? Uh, I, I, it's, it's not bad. I mean, I think it's, I think it's better than last season. It's, it's, with the, it's with more the crazy it's, mutant bonuses. Yeah, well, yeah, I got I got a video of that one coming up later on today too. But nice. uh, yeah, Axemen, for example, are quite they caught quite the damage boost. For example, yes. on defense, and I did, uh, I did l lose a matchup against them once. I had to back out of one uh, because I thought I could do it. it. Turns out that bishop just hit me way too hard, and <laughs> I ended up losing oh. one of my characters. So, oh yeah, the normal you know. counters didn't work. The, uh, the Infinity Watch they don't have the revive once. So Gamora, Nebula, they don't revive once. Uh, my my team that I used to beat them with, the Secret of Enders, well, Kestrel hits a little too hard, but not hard enough to delete Bishop now. And I think that's because of that damage reduction that they're getting. And, you know, Beast does his move, and then Bishop's crazy again. And they're tough. They're tough to uh, yeah. beat. Yeah. I, uh, I, I used a Weapon X Doctor Doom, and I still lost. Jesus. And Doctor Doom got one shot by Bishop's alt or something. It just hit for, like, well over 600,000. Bishop it was is so crazy. Bishop is so and with crazy. Follow up striker <laughs> attack, like like Bishop Jubilee, and then Bishop striker attack, like it just did so much damage. Man. So it's it's something that's a little bit more challenging, and of course it's made unlimited X Men top dogs more than they already were because their damage just went up through the. It's insane, right? So you kind of need to say, I think you kind of need to save your unlimited X Men for offense to beat a nut, just in case somebody yeah. has them on defense, because I don't know what else you can use against them. Now, is I've, I've tried the uh, Unlimited X-Men with Cable without Phantom X that still beats the Unlimited X-Men. I was a little scared because of the increased resistance. It still didn't work. Have you tried out that team? And did I just get good RNG that day? Or is that still a, a counter to that team? I haven't actually found anyone with Unlimited X-Men on defense this week. So I think a lot okay. of people are doing A lot of people at least. I'm in Plat, uh, sorry, Diamond 2. So I think a lot of people are doing the same thing, holding it for offense, which is fine. Then yeah. I don't have to fight them on defense, I guess, if everyone's holding them for offense. But yeah. currently using them against uh, Darkhold teams, because I feel like it's an easy kill there. What was some of your biggest, the most surprising teams that you've uh, faced? You've already mentioned the Axeman. Any other yeah. big surprises in this 
how they're performing? Mm, not yeah, mostly the mutants. Uh, I'm I'm not finding some of the other ones too difficult. Uh, Young Avengers, I I can see on your screen. I I ended up using Gamma to beat them in room five. Uh, okay. The full Gamma team. Uh, I, I've seen people go the other way around and use Young Avengers to beat Gamma, but I feel that the Gamma versus Young Avengers is more consistent. You know, some of it's RNG as well, too. You know, I don't know. Sometimes you just get unlucky, and then, like, the same character gets smacked a couple times, and, you know, they go they go over. But, yes, my, uh, first, my first two days, I actually had Gamma in Room 5. First day, Young Avengers countered them pretty easily. Second day... Almost the same team powers, <laughs> and my my young man just lost because I got some bad RNG. I guess the offense downs went to the wrong characters, and everybody just targeted Miss Marvel. So it, 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 they're not a they're not a consistent counter. And let's be honest, they're all baby Hulks, baby Red Hulks right now. Yeah. It's not going to be the real Gamma team how they're going to face. So it might be a yeah. little more uh, challenging. One thing I do want to point out is for Room 6 Tales of Legend, it, it it seems that the safeguard that you get for your legendary characters can actually prevent revive once flipping. So if you use Dormammu with legendary characters and they go in on the offense with some hero mutants, the safeguard actually prevents that revive once from being removed. Oh, that is that is nasty. That is nasty. nasty. And I guess we didn't know that because normally that's not... Uh, I don't know what instances you have outside of here that you have safeguard and revive once other than, you know, and, be, and it being removed because most characters mm. don't remove in this game. So that is an issue. Well, it's not an issue, but we didn't know about that, I guess. Before. You know what? One of the, uh, one of the revive once did not get cleared uh, this morning. And maybe I didn't pay attention to the safeguard. Uh, and, and I hear it also could be resistant to the clearing of the revive once. So the character is yeah, so small what, and might, it might not pass that focus resistance check. Yeah, so I used my Weapon X with Wolverine uh, against the Dormammu team, and, I, and and Wolverine only stripped two Revive Onces on his turn. So I don't know mm. if there's a cap to how... Maybe we don't know, because it's not telling us. Maybe he can only... Maybe each character can only strip so many Revive Onces in mm -hmm. one turn. Maybe there's only, like, two, God. for example, and it's two random characters that have it. Because on both of my turns, it flipped two. That makes a little more sense. I only had two to get out. Flip them. I wonder if there's a hard cap of just two. Yeah, I, if you game. have any recordings of any of your matches uh, where you did that, maybe go back and check and see whether or not the same thing happened. Because I, I think that maybe there's just some stuff that, you know, we're the beta testers, right? And we would like, I don't know, things they should have told us about this that they didn't. Actually, not, a, not a thing about it. The revive was, wasn't cleared off of Doom. So he's not a legendary character. So I think it can get resisted. I think Doom actually resisted the revive once when. Uh, our character went so I know it can't get resisted. That was the that was the discussion in well, the that's a, uh, on that's a bit chat. interesting because Red Hulk's removal of revive once on a special doesn't get resisted. So yeah, that that this is a resist it's, check. It's not it's not consistent in the game. There's something that just remove it yeah, and there's some the mechanics that are not that consistent. resistance check. And I think for we don't know. And, and some clarification on that would be great, you know, uh if they could at least for the Cosmic Crucible side, if yeah. they could say yeah, just come out and say yep. It can be resisted. Then, then they'll clear things up. That that would clear it up entirely. Now, I do want to talk about some of these counters in these teams. One of these is, uh, as you can see here, the Gamma Team counter. One that Mobile Gamer used here is uh, the Uncanny X Men, and uh, yes, they're dead, killing them, oh, and he's <laughs> killing Valley Fly, and he actually <laughs> messes it. He killed Valley Fly. Were there any other surprising counters that you experienced? Uh, in yours, I know the the Bionic Avengers clearing the Weaver. That was pretty surprising to me. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have Uncanny built up very high, so I, I I would be curious. Teams like Uncanny, teams like X Factor, maybe X Force, maybe somebody's sitting with a G15 X Force. I don't know. I'd be curious to see like what they could do, like what's their potential with these buffs, because if you know, 50% damage is quite staggering. So <laughs> I'm very curious to see if uh, the uncanny can still beat the gamma team when do we get some real red hogs in there though. No, so I know it's working right now, but I imagine it's a lot of like Cyclops' alt at like maximum charges with offense up and twenty five <laughs> or sorry, fifty percent increased damage. It's just like so much extra damage to Cyclops, he's probably just AoEing everyone. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of uh, big AoEs there, all that extra damage, <laughs> resistance, all that stuff. So maybe it'll still work, but maybe it'll be a punch down instead of a punch across or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what else? Do you know what else we're getting very, very soon, Boyle? Some more events. 
uh, Avengers Tower. Oh, Avengers Tower. Uh, Avengers yeah. Tower. Yeah, and more events. We're always getting more events, and uh, some <laughs> of them are going to be good. Some are going to be pretty trashy. But Avengers Tower, this game mode that we have not seen it in Marvel Strike Force for who knows how long. I have lost count because it's not been here for so long. It's supposedly supposed to come back on September 30th, but as you know, these these may or may not be accurate. All these blog posts. Uh, may not may not be correct so what are you doing right now to prepare for avengers tower if anything uh not much uh i'll tell you that the <laughs> last time we had avengers tower was at the first week of april because oh i have goodness. an events calendar <laughs> so during april so, fools april fools yeah basically five months ago really, really? yeah just almost six months ago all right but so, they uh, gave us a they gave us a, a tab for roster stuff for for like there's a tower tab right and, and, and like what's the point after that <laughs> yeah it just made no sense i don't even know did we even get did we get to use the tab with the last avengers tower or did they add it in between oh no, they added it afterwards <laughs> yeah so like they brought it in and nobody some people are using it as like a a, a spillover a spillover tab for like other other safe squads but it's just you know it, it seemed it seemed like they were going to do it more and then they like i i guess there was too much going on too many and, bugs to uh, fix too many bugs to fix yeah i guess uh, or maybe because of the month long events they didn't want to add that on top with the scourge events too many things going on i guess and now there's a little bit of a lull and and we're you know until we start the 2099 events that there's and actually uh war ends uh, the score the scourge ends on saturday at 2 p.m so you know this starts on friday presumably we'll see if it even starts at time right like because who knows because we'll the game's been so buggy with events that it might not even start tomorrow I don't, know, I don't know if the game's been buggy or we're just getting uh, poor communication in these blog posts because uh, it, it's everything it's is subject to change. Everything is subject to change in this blog post. So, yeah, maybe you're not. Now, are you doing anything specific to plan for this? Are you are you redoing your save squads? Are you uh, are you looking at things differently? Uh, what, what, are, what are you doing if for for right now? Well, so, we'll, we'll start see. tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, depends on what the rewards are. It says other juicy rewards. Uh, you know, is it better than last time? Because I, I didn't feel that the rewards for Avengers Tower justified a lot of investment, I guess. It was okay, but it wasn't really stellar. And it, it you know, I just good. play as normally. I don't, know play I, don't know if, I, don't, I don't know if it was good enough to really push and plan out and uh, be super meticulous with this. Uh, do you think we're going to have any new teams? It has been almost six months, like you said, since the last iteration of uh, this Avengers Tower. Do you think we've had a lot of new teams introduced since then? The Gamma Team, the Bionic Avengers. Are we going to get some of these new teams, do you think, in Avengers Tower? Or this is this going to be cut and paste of what we got many months ago? I hope it's different. But I was a little <laughs> bit surprised, actually, that they even bothered to change it in the other iterations because i thought we were getting this monthly and so therefore it didn't need to be changed every single month but now that it you know there's been such a huge gap then yeah i would i would hope it's changed now uh but i i would be perfectly okay with it coming back this time next month and being the same as this one you know like it doesn't have to change every time yeah i i just wanted to come back i like the rewards and uh after the first two days it doesn't really take a lot of time the first two days to get that climb yeah. for me it took a while but after that, it's just maybe one or two battles a day, just based on where my roster is. So I, I don't think this was something that took a lot of time. Yeah, it's uh, not bad. I just, I, I, but I think it's it's good for those people who want to challenge themselves, especially those people who can or have the TCP roster to kind of climb to the top. It's kind of fun <laughs> watching it, but that's not really probably for me. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Uh, all right, it is time for the known issues report and the gear finder. It says it is working right now. It is working for me. But there's some other new bugs. The missile weaving mouse spawn point score is showing zero. They're aware of that and they're, uh, it should have been fixed already. But for a time, the mystical weaving was not working. The Spider-Man, there's that error that we talked about, the Red Star error, the Golden Opportunity Milestone. This is a... Uh, it's a pretty big one right now, in my opinion. And uh, let's talk about what they said about that. Uh, the new Golden Opportunity Milestone has rank rewards, which require a minimum of 6 million points to participate in. This was not communicated before it went down. But since this has been communicated, I know myself, I've done one run over 6 million just to 
just to uh, see what the ranking rewards are. I didn't get anything in my inbox. I know there's other people that have done a few runs over six million for this and have gotten nothing from those leaderboard rankings. Uh, when, when will they get this? And when will this be communicated, Boylan? I think I did one over six million. I don't think I got that either. But I did one over ten million. And I did get it. <laughs> so I don't know if there's a if it's not six million, the minimum is is higher. Uh, because I, who was it? I, I leveled up one of my characters and I just, I, I, I put in a lot of gold and it was about 10 or 12 million gold. And I did get a one to 10% payout yesterday, actually, for oh. that one. So right. there, there are payouts, but maybe it's not 6 million. Maybe that's subject to change. Oh, wait, 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 who wait, knows? It doesn't say that on the bottom of this blog well, post. It has to be accurate. Well, it doesn't say that it's subject to change. Then you need to get into the Envoy program, the Envoy channel and, and ask what the heck's going on, right? Uh, That's your job. <laughs> we, we, we may be fighting in for about that uh, before this video goes up, potentially. So hopefully we get that solved. But yeah, six million not working correctly. The other thing not working correctly was the War Scourge event. There was some bugs in there in the scores. Now there were some bugs that were corrected, and there's some scourges that uh, don't apply or don't want to play any debuffs or changes, but they just give you the points. So make sure that you uh, equip those scourges. I think they're listed in the game right now. At least they were listed in my they're game. Not, that they're, they're not listed. I don't think they are listed in the game. Did they change that? Uh, they were earlier when I when I was doing my scourge okay. run. Now in the, I haven't done one in a couple in days, the, but... Not in the one you selected, but when you go to this screen right here... Uh, oh, you see the screen, oh, okay. It's there. So Dark uh, but, but, but that's there. bad. It should be on the the, the the selection screen. Yeah, the part that the part that actually matters, right? Yeah. Now, not after you've equipped it, but I guess that's, if you're uh, not I sure, know that. you should you could go to node one, check out if it's there, and uh, do that. So uh, I don't get why they did this because when when I think it was pestilence, when pestilence had some yeah. bug, uh, they they put it on the selection screen. So I think that that's bad because then some people are not clicking on this one when they might have otherwise. Yeah, well, that's why you got to watch the content creators' videos and always stay tuned to all the bug reports because you never know what is bugged or not. But in case you guys are wondering, Dark Resolve 3, make sure you're equipped that. Not working, it's just free points. And the other one is Pure Victory 2. That is uh, just giving free points. But... And, and Rope Dope, but that's not mentioned in the game as Rope well. Rope Dope's slightly busted, actually. Uh, so it's supposed to give Safeguard, <laughs> but it does not. It gives Immunity instead. So in case people were not aware of that, uh, it doesn't say there. It does say safeguard, but it doesn't it does give safeguard. Say safeguard. Okay, yeah, and it's not listed here. It gives immunity, mm. not safeguard. Yeah. Okay. It's a little it's bit like different because safeguard's pretty big because that means you can't flip buffs, right? So yeah. now you can. It, it makes a fair bit of difference, actually. Okay, I have it equipped, and uh, I thought it was doing that, but yeah, you're still getting the you're still getting the, the death proof, the defense up, the deflects, yeah. all the nasty ones there. So it's quite working, but it's it's different. It's different than uh, safeguard and immunity. Now the thing that they mention here is that there's the bugs, and it's, it's not a, as far as I'm aware, this is not a cheat. This is bugs because like the previous uh, iterations of these scourges. People have been uh, people report to these as soon as you get this. Hey, I, I got this bug. I should have got this score, but they're giving me this score. Uh, it's being investigated. Any mistakenly acquired points will be removed from the final run scores. Do you think that those players are just going to get their runs removed, or they're going to calculate this out correctly and give them what they actually should have earned? Uh, I'm not really sure what that's specific about. Like, I I don't know how many people this impacted or w how high were the points. I didn't really see any screenshots regarding this, so I, I'm not really too informed about this one. I don't know if this is too widespread. I do know that there's a few screenshots in the Envoy server of like, oh, this this player's reporting that uh, they got a bug score. Uh, what do they do? And I don't know. So I don't know how widespread that is, but there may be some uh, going up and down the ranks uh, as those final scores are calculated. Yeah, I, I hope they, they kind of check that again anyways because this is the first run. Um, they Presumably they have better APK detections now and things like that, but we know that that was an issue in the past with Pestilence, so I don't know if they're still you know being on top of that as far as people who are cheating. Uh, people still may be cheating. I don't know. We haven't really heard about it in a wide-scale, you know, thing lately but i don't know if it was an issue in famine but we should still make sure we're keeping on top of cheaters yeah, sorry that's not, that's not necessarily cheating but i i was going into also cheating 
Yeah, that cheap cheating. Uh, I, I don't yeah. think there were too many reports uh, of that going on for uh, the Rogue One, but I do know that they're taking those extra days, and sometimes scores get removed from that. So I appreciate that they're still taking those extra couple of days. I, I'd, I'd rather wait a few days for my rewards, like you know, as long as everybody's also waiting. And then have the scores be accurate, then you know the words go out and like, oh, we gotta remove this stuff, and it's a big issue like that. So I, I like that they're proactive with this. Now, other thing I want to ask you: where are you shooting in this war scourge event? Rank twenty five hundred and above will get a six star. If you're going for the top five hundred, that'll give you a seven star. Rank above eight percent will give you that five star. What are you shooting for as far as gold stars for your Red Hulk? Uh, I'm currently straddling the line on the six star, but I think I'm going to get knocked down. And to be honest, I, I can't be bothered to do another run at this point. So, so I'm, five probably, star. I'm probably going to be high five star. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm super bothered because I don't actually have the six red on rogue yet either. So mm -hmm. the, the likelihood of me activating a six red anyways is low right now. And so that the, the six star would be nice, but it's only about maybe 10 K power, 15 K power maximum. So I can wait till the next run. Okay. So not, not too bothered by that. What is your current score that's leaving you at that, uh, uh line between the six and five star? I don't have my game open, but, uh, I, I thought it was around 2.8 million or 2.9 million or something like that. Okay. Uh, so I, but I was doing a nine node system. So I, I think that I could do 10 nodes, but I just felt it more relaxing to do nine nodes and just blow everything on node five and not have to worry about clearing node 10. And so I, I, I put a lot of scourges up. I had like something like 360 scourges a lot, almost all of them. Difficulty eight. Um, but I only did nine nodes. So that's what's kind of, yeah, difficulty eight. Okay. So you could so have, uh, yeah, if you do one more node, if you, if you I, do, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would push me into six star probably, but I'm just, yeah. I, part of me is too lazy and I'm just checking my game right now, actually. So, uh, 2.847 million. So what is, go. what is your current rank with uh, a few more see. days to go here? Oh, I'm at, oh, oh, oh I'm at 2508. So yeah, oh, I've been you're, you're getting that five star. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not bothered by that though. That's that's fine. I think you're gonna get pushed down a little bit more uh, between now and then because I've 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 not done my main run yet. I've only done the done rock the run to unlock Hulk and I'm doing my main run now. Uh, I have these scourges on. I have 310 points. What other than these free points ones? What are the no-brainer scourges for you? And I think I think the the stay down is another no-brainer one. Just, yeah. If you're not using Dormammu, it makes sense. Even if you are using Dormammu on that villain nodes, it's, it's pretty easy. There's a lot of good villains. So uh, what, are, what are some no-brainer ones that you would uh, equip other than those three? Would, I would think still be I, would still be yeah. open up with that change? I, I, I think so. I think that if you're, you could, you just have to, a lot of these, you just have to push through, right? Like a lot of it's yeah. just like, just gotta like push your roster through this a little bit. And I think when it rains, which is 23 points, I think that's pretty easy too. It, it, it increases the duration of positive effects by one. But if you have characters that can clear positive effects, that doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't make a huge difference. And uh, I wouldn't say there's like no brainer ones necessarily. Like I said, a butterfly effect actually is, is kind of interesting. I thought that was a good take on it because it actually works on both sides of the field so if you are running fortifier characters it does work for your side as well uh, a lot of people don't use fortifiers so i think that that's um an interesting nod to convince to try and convince people to use other isos did, did, did it convince you to use the other isos uh, I, I did do a run actually i did do a run where i where i changed uh about two or three characters per lane to fortifier just okay. to get to use that so it was interesting did it did it make it better uh, it's hard to say honestly but i i did it anyways just right. for fun I, I had a lot of green i a green ion so i decided to do a flip and just for fun i guess okay. but I, I did get a better score so I know that's ultimately that's what the game should be about right it's fun experimenting with these things not having to do everything in a cookie cutter way just that's, that's what it should be it's a game I, I overall actually you know what they they did change dark resolve now to free points on the selection okay so I don't know when they did that because I'm looking at on my phone right now okay and so they it did does change say it. that on the selection okay so but it might maybe it was yesterday or something it was really late compared to when they announced the uh, issue I noticed it this morning so maybe maybe it's six point four one is when they did that I'm not I'm not that sure either, but I noticed it, it this be, morning yeah. when I was actually looking at them on stream uh, if there's any other tips 
Let me know in the comments and let me know what red, what star level are you shooting for for your Red Hulk? Are you trying to be in that top 8% for a 5 star? Are you going for that top 2,500 for that 6 star? Or are you going to go crazy with all these scourges and try for that top 500 to 7 star? Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I want that 6 star, but I don't know if I'll get there. I don't know if I have the patience to do that. Now, I do want to talk to you about some rumors, Boylan, because... Uh, Chad was mentioning how you have some rumors about the next horseman, the death horseman, being <laughs> yeah. Craven the Hunter. Where did this come from? Is this some educated guessing? Are you actually getting some rumors? Where 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 did Craven come from? There. So I I I personally have been hearing some things about a skill. A lot of people are on the fence about whether it's mutant or skill, and. Uh, there's good ar there's good arguments as to why it might be mutant, but I think those arguments are exactly why it probably won't be. I think that mutant. the community wants mutant too much, and I think that Scopely knows this, and so therefore they'll prolong it like they did with the tech raid team. They push it off for a while. There's always one raid uh, lane that's a pain point in every Doom raid, and for Doom raid three, yeah. Doom raid one, it was bio doom raid 2 it was tech doom raid 3 is mutant those are the hardest ones in my opinion on each of mm -hmm. those and so i think we might be waiting towards the end of doom raid 3 maybe even into doom raid 4 before we get a proper mutant raid team oh, and so no. <laughs> while we don't need skill i think that they'll find because they're next up as far as age after after mutant so i think that they're going to give that to us early as far as craven okay. the hunter I, I i actually wasn't sure who would be the horseman whether it be Cra craven or u.s agent because we had rumors mm -hmm. of u.s agent a long time ago if you get you might remember u.s I agent do. and agent venom and things like this yeah. and so i i think that a skill team is possible i would like it to be craven frankly because he's a villain i think we need another villain horseman because uh, we have two heroes right now to one villain and I think Craven, from a, I know we shouldn't use things from a lore perspective, but he seems like a type of guy who would ask, for, or, you know, take help from Apocalypse for for more power. That, that does sound that does sound like Craven, not not necessarily the nicest guy. Now, uh, I've I've heard rumors from Drew that it could be Sentry. I think Drew's still leaning towards death. Would Sentry fit that uh, skill section? I mean, he seems more like a is, tech character to me, yeah. but uh, would he fit that that section for the skill section? From, from what I know about Sentry, I'm, is he skill? Like, I don't even know what he fits under, frankly, because in the comics, because I actually, he's dead in the comics, spoiler, <laughs> but, you know, Null killed him. So Null ripped him in half. And and he seemed to be like, I didn't know a whole lot about him, but it seemed to be like a, like a Superman type guy. You know, he flies, he has energy projection. So, you know, what really is his origin? I don't know. Well, I don't know. I think uh, Kate Bishop has uh, tech, 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 tech stuff instead of a skill. So it, it, it doesn't matter. So Marvel Strikes Earth do whatever they want. The military tag in the beginning. So it doesn't yeah. matter. It's what is going to be the best for gameplay, I guess. I... So. I wouldn't mind that. I just I think that there's there's so much hype around mutant right now that that part of that, that just makes me feel that they're gonna make you want it even even more longer. And so when the mutant raid team does come out, it doesn't necessarily have to be a horseman team. We could still get Excalibur or whatever other people are rumoring about, mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't have to be a, a horseman team. It could come after. All right. Well. Uh... Mini Ball has a lot of rumors, and he's been pretty accurate with his rumors of Red Hulk and some of these other teams that are going to be released per patch. So he's still predicting death as far as the mutants. So I'm going to go with that unless I hear anything else. He seems to have an inside track with the devs. That's why not just based on predictions and data mines. So uh, we, we should find out pretty soon, though, because maybe. I mean, uh, I think next patch 6.5 should be the start or somewhere in there should be death characters so i would imagine yeah. that we might get a announcement in the next couple of weeks probably yeah so probably not this week because we have avengers tower and the red hulk event is ending but thinking next week on either There's next Friday, week or the week be. after we should be getting some info on the next few characters maybe a silhouette that'll give that indication or maybe not because if it is like nightcrawler and some of these other characters i think their silhouettes may be pretty easy to decipher so yeah i'm thinking, I'm thinking we will get confirmation of that within the next few weeks as well or who the next teams are going to be a lot of people are saying is underworld going to be one of them so with mr negative on the horizon you know in, in the next two weeks or so then we need to find it they'll, they'll need to tell us before he comes out right so that people will buy him <laughs> wait are you talking for the next scourge team 
Yeah, for, for do death. Do we need anything other than the Bionic Avengers? They're so good. They're, they're smashing it in, uh, in the Avengers section for me in, in the current No, they're really run. good. Do you need them? <laughs> Probably not. But if you're hyper competitive and you want to get, you know, do all 10 nodes and do it well, you might. And just yeah. like other people use more characters for 10 nodes sometimes. Yeah, uh, but if you go for a 9 node run, you can, you can, we've seen with War in my score, like I'm, I'm 2,500 or so and I did 9 nodes. So you could get away with just Bionic Avengers and do a 9 node run and do well. Uh, yeah, but if you want to go higher, possibly, then you might want more characters. Yeah. So, guys, it looks like we're going to be getting an announcement, like I said, within the next few weeks. Maybe not this week, but probably next week or the week after is what I'm expecting. So get your predictions done right now. Who do you think is the next Death Scourge team, the next Death Scourge character, as we move on through the data mines? Now, the, the big data mines, we're about the Spider-Man 2099. We also have uh, some data mines about the next uh, battle pass. The next strike battle pass is going to be Elsa Bloodstone and Wongers. Uh, so, so is 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 this is she kind of like Madison here in this in the game? Uh, I think it's like just a Halloween thing, maybe. Uh, yeah. For that, there, there's a special for the MCU coming out, isn't there? Yeah, the Werewolf by Night, which which also was data mined a while back. So we'll see if that eventually comes to. Marvel Strike Force. Assume, but maybe, maybe her costume. Maybe that her costume is in that Strike Pass as well. It doesn't could say, it, but uh, it could be. Oh, uh, yeah. It, it may be there as well. I, uh, I didn't see that. I was just glancing there. Um, Unless it's an I, event later in October. And yeah, I, I think on Friday's blog post, we'll find out about the whole month of October with the Spider Man 2999 events. Maybe we'll get that photo, that, that Twitter photo or whatever that they release with the image mm -hmm. uh, with the whole month long because we need to find out officially what the events are. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe we'll get all the info this uh, in this this week's blog post. So yeah, some of these do online with that Halloween theme. You're getting a Monster Hunter calendar with Elsa Bloodstone. We're getting Scream calendar. So both of those seem to align with uh, Halloween there. So the Strike Pass at least looks like it's going according to that. And then our next uh, Modo's Mayhem, the next Battle Pass, Strange Heartless is going to be the character there. Uh, do these excite you? Do these make you want to rip your wallet out and uh, and purchase some things from Scope? Really or is this uh, is this just like oh cool? I will get I will get a few free shards, but I'm not going to purchase the extra shards for that. Yeah, I've not really bought a, a pass in quite some time. I'll take the free shards for my baby account because I don't have Wong or or Strange uh, Strange Heartless unlocked yet, so that'll help. But from a, a paid perspective, not really. I mean. If you want to support the game, there is some value, I, I guess, in them. I, I just I haven't really found that value on my main account these days. Um, I, the Origin, even Teal Gear, which is in the RTA now, I, I find that they've kind of loosened up a little bit with the Origin challenges because even that's helped on a weekly basis uh, and the amount of Teal Raid Orbs that we're getting now from Doom 3. All right, predictions. Who's going to be the next farmable out of these? Because previously, and, and there's really no pattern in the scope, really, but do you think Strange Heartless is going to be the next farmable, or Wong will be maybe not the next farmable in the rotation, but who out of these characters will be farmable uh, before the other one? Because uh, uh, usually, usually, the, usually it, they went to the arena store after they've come out of this, so... If we're talking about the RTA or these these past characters, then probably yeah. going to be uh, Strange because he was a strange campaign event. Strange before Wong. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll and see what never. <laughs> yeah, either of these characters I need on my team. I need to, yeah. I need more gold stars. So I'll be happy with either of them going to the arena store and just keep keep uh, keep whoever's in the, the orb in there right now. Oh, Spider Punk. Keep him in the orb. Just put him right to the store like they did with uh, Spider Gwen. All right, but last but not least, spoiler warning, guys. We're going to talk about She-Hulk episode six. Not today's episode, not episode seven, but episode six. So if you haven't watched everything in the MCU up until episode six, spoiler warning right now. We're going to go talk about it in three, two, one. I guess I should have asked you this. Did you see episode six? And right. so did you enjoy I it? I have, yes. Yeah, okay. I, I have seen episode six yet. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, did you, did you enjoy this show? I mean, did you I, this episode? Actually, yeah, I mean, I actually don't, despite what, there's a lot of critics talking about She-Hulk and how it's, I don't know, it, it is different, of course, than the other shows, but they're acting like all of the shows need to be the same. And I, I think what we forget is that Disney and D Disney Plus is a family-friendly channel. 
So yeah. not every show, not every MCU show is going to be, I don't know, Moon Knight or, you know, in terms of like Jessica the action, and, you know, the action is going to vary, right? And yeah. so it's a little bit more lighthearted, I think, She-Hulk. Um, it's even less action, I would say, than than Hawkeye, right? You know, so there's just, some, it's not for, it's not going to be for everyone, but, right. you know, I do appreciate it, watching them. It might even be less action than Miss Marvel, but I gotta say, I enjoy She-Hulk yeah. a lot more than Miss Marvel, you know. It seems like it's more a show about her and that her adjusting yeah. to that rather than be a superhero show where she's battling out these crazy powerful villains. I mean, we haven't really had a powerful villain. I mean, in this episode, she totally smashed Titania. The Wrecking Crew just didn't do anything with her. And it looks like they're setting up the Wrecking Crew. Now, in episode seven, I'm, uh, if you've seen it. You I haven't seen it yet. So, okay, All right, yeah. good. All right. It looks like uh, with that guy that was talking to her at the party, it looks like someone was watching her. I'm not sure if that was related to the guy or just they're surveilling her. Probably something to do with the Wrecking Crew. They probably want her blood. He wants her to stay in that gen form, which they will be able to get her blood with that. Is he, is he sort of a... Uh, the guy leading her to to try to get her blood. I mean, is he working for someone that's leading the Wrecking Crew? And uh, if so, who do you think that main villain is running that show? Uh, maybe the leader. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, oh, <laughs> I, would I, would leader leader. Uh, I would love it if it was the leader of the Hulk. That would be awesome. Any Hulks, I always associate the, the leader. But uh, I, I think the big question is that a lot of people ask is sort of where is this going? You know, with all these shows that we've had, uh, where what's it leading to and I don't know how is it going to collaborate with other shows or or where are we going to see She-Hulk next for example or who with and, and that's I think what a lot of people are asking about all these different shows is sort of where you know the next Avengers or whatever movie right you know and, and how are they all going to combine I think that's what we want to is this where we're going to get the start of a Thunderbolt team? You know, I, I think Abomination seems like a fit in that. So this is sort of a tease that Abomination is still out there. Uh, yeah. I, for She-Hulk, like, like where is she going to land? Uh, who is she going to like? And is she going to be standalone? Is she going to join up with anyone else from the current uh, shows or whatever? Miss Marvel? I don't know. Probably Daredevil. not because she's in the movie. She's, she's, she's going to do a team up with Daredevil because they don't like Iron Fist anymore. It's going to be Daredevil and She-Hulk. <laughs> he is in it now, right from the Miss Marvel, because he he did show up in Miss Marvel. Or yeah. sorry, not Miss. Uh, one of the Spider Hawkeye. He showed up in Spider Man and Hawkeye, didn't he? Uh, not that I remember. Oh, that was Kingpin. Oh, yeah. So I, see, so I, many King, characters showing up. King, you know? King, Kingpin was in Hawkeye. Yeah, yes. sorry. A lot of a lot, lot of things just intertwining. <laughs> so but yeah, yeah. Oh, the yellow the yellow helmet. We saw that in not That's in right. episode five, but in, 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 not in episode six. We did see that in episode five, though. Is he mm. coming in? Is he coming this show? I mean, in this episode, episode seven. Well, it sounds like, have you seen it? Because it sounds like you I'm have, not, but I, I haven't. Not, I, have not, okay. I watched it, I watched it at, at night with the kids, so it's... I'll be watching it tonight as well, so we'll <laughs> okay. see. And uh, it is the last one, is it? Uh, More... This be episode seven, that's kind of a weird number. I thought, yeah, I don't know. Seems like they would end on eight or ten or something okay. even, but no, I don't know. I, I, I guess we're looking it up <laughs> right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious what to expect. All right, so that, okay. I, 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 there's a lot. There's a lot of direction that they can go right now. You know, Hulk probably not going to see him again. But uh, yeah, we'll yeah it's a bit of a cameo, I guess. But uh, it's okay. Well, she said we're not going to see Bruce. We're not going to see Wong in the next episode. We see Wong again. So who knows mm -hmm. if we'll see Bruce? <laughs> I liked Wong. I liked the Wong cameos. It was a lot of fun, actually. Well, every it's an MCU project phase four. Wong is in every single <laughs> episode for the same phase four project. So. All right. uh, how do you She Hulk? As, just just to ask you, uh, She Hulk as a show compared to some of the recent ones, like do you, how do you find it? Better than Miss Marvel. Uh, what else? It's different it's than Moon Knight. It's Moon very yeah. different than Moon Knight. It's a lot more laid back, a lot more chill. Doesn't it feel like it has its high stakes, which which I kind of enjoy. It's just the comedic, low key type of show. I, I'm enjoying it. And there's it's certain, just, there's I, certain I, just aspects casual. I don't like, and certain episodes that I didn't like. But overall, yeah. I do like this show. I find She-Hulk very casual, so like I can just you know sit on the couch and watch it. It's not yeah. just, you know I, I don't have to I don't have to pay you know uh, close attention to every little detail all the time. Yeah, I like I like the serious shows like Loki and. Archive, but I also like these casual shows like she hulk so I, I, I enjoy it. I think it's a good show. All right, Boylan, 
that is it. That is it for everything that's happened so far in Marvel Strike Force this uh, week. Any other final thoughts, my brother? Uh, I hope that... They, I, I think I say this almost every time. I hope things get better. I hope that the bugs get less. <laughs> and I, hope that that, I, I, I honestly can't say if things are better now than when I was on the show the last time. But... I keep hoping that, you know, they pull themselves together and they get their stuff in order and, you know, it delivers that world-class experience that we deserve, right? I, we all deserve that scope, Lee Boundless. Give us our world-class experience. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I hope it does get better very, very soon. And it, it, it seems like some things are changing, but not wholesale changes. So I, I, can, I can see they're trying. I can see they're trying. So um, yeah. I'll give them that. That is about it, though. Any other final thoughts? Any other uh, things that you have coming up on your channel? I know you mentioned the orb opening for all your gamma orbs. You mentioned your Cosmic Crucible videos. What what else do you have coming up, my friend? I, I think the Abomination orb opening is going to be a big one. I've been saving for a month <laughs> long. A lot of I, I, I put out there saying that if I didn't unlock Abomination, that I would quit Marvel Strike Force. And, well... I did unlock here, it, but I won't tell you how much I got that. Yeah, I know. How, how <laughs> many stars did you get, though? That's the question. <laughs> yeah, I, that's the question for the orb opening, so if you want to stay tuned to that one. But uh, it's overall events kind of garbage. 299, probably going to go the same way. Sadly. Yeah. Yeah, the orbs, the orbs make it trash. I was, I was happy with them before. I'm mean, not happy with them because some of the events within the month long milestones were pretty bad. But yeah, overall, I thought they were good. But yeah, these, these orb ones it's gotten worse and worse and worse. So hopefully, they understand that the community thinks these events are getting worse and they change things up. But yeah. that is, that is, that is all we got for you this time. Thank you guys, and we, we heard each other. Right? At least I heard you. I hope you heard me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's okay. I, I got through it. <laughs> All right, thanks. I apologize. Uh, my sound went out the other day. I had to redo all the settings, so I keep needing to tweak stuff. So uh, hopefully the video turned out well, and uh, hopefully next time you're going to hear me properly. Thank you once again, Brother Boylan. If you guys have not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out some of the links down below. There's always a sale going on at T Public, and if you are making purchases, maybe not in Marvel Strike Force, but any other game on the Amazon App Store or Marvel Strike Force, uh, make sure you use the link down below on coins.valleyfly.com and that should give you up to 20% off uh, any game that you purchase or any of your in-game purchases if it's available in your region. So, thank you. Boil on. Are you ready to Hulk fist bump us out of here, brother? Ready to go. Hulk All right. fist bump Valley Fly to Boil on. Out. Have a great rest of your day, guys.